God is great. God is good. God, I thank you for the food. In Jesus' name, I ask a blessing. Amen. Fried bologna sandwich. When I prepared mentally to make this meal, it started to bring up a lot of childhood memories. Some very pleasant, some not so pleasant. And I wanted to share them with you. But then, at the last minute, something said, don't talk about it. Just type it into your description section so that you don't have to talk about it. So I'm going to type in my childhood memories in the description section. And if it brings up any memories for you, then please feel free to share your memories as well. When I used to make bologna sandwiches as a kid, I didn't I don't remember putting tomatoes on it, but I wanted tomatoes. And also, this bologna did have that string around it, so I took that off. But in my mind's eye, whenever I would cook bologna sandwiches, the um the bologna would curl up on the edges. And only the center would get black, which I like, because I like the little crunch on there. But when I cooked this particular bologna, um, it didn't curl up. So I don't know if that was a flaw or what. <laughs> Just something that I noticed. And I'm having blueberry pomegranate green tea. Never tried this brand before, but let's see what happens. Pomegranate green, pomegranate, blueberry pomegranate green tea. Gotta let it cool off a little bit because I had not refrigerated that, so I just put it on the side, even though I'm quite thirsty. But anyway, here's my fried bologna sandwich with tomatoes, and I put some mustard. Go ahead and grab you a bite. <laughs> fried bologna sandwich try to get a uh, did you see the tomatoes in there put some potato chips on there now if I was lucky as a kid I would get one of those five cents bag of potato chips because back then you could get a bag of potato chips for a nickel or five pennies whichever you was lucky enough to have that day and um, another thing, back then you could take a bottle, like a soda bottle, to the store, and they would give you about two or three cents for it. So if you found two pennies and you had a soda bottle, take it down to the corner store. And get you a bag of potato chips. Mm -mm. Yep. I remember my brother used to go bottle hunting. <laughs> Gather up some bottles to take to the store and go in there. And I guess people still do that now. Only they do cans. The bread is sticking to my teeth. like that.
Yeah. The things you could do with a penny back thing. Mm mm mm. You could get a penny candy. Like a Bazooka Joe bubblegum with a comic wrapped around it. All that for one penny. That bubblegum was hard as a brick. <laughs> so wonder you had any teeth when you finished with it. <laughs> now As far as this bread is concerned, this is the cheapest bread on the market, but I like to get it because I don't eat bread that much, but every now and then, like if I'm having some fried chicken wings, I like to have some bread with it, but after I finish eating a couple of pieces out of it, it needs to go in the freezer for safekeeping or longevity. Longevity, if you will. And chances are, after a month or two, it's going to go in the trash. So I don't feel like buying that fancy bread and then just knowing it's going to go in the trash anyway. Same kind of concept about this bologna. Because I was thinking, if I don't like this bologna, it's going in the trash. So I got the cheap one instead of getting the um, brand name or the, the brand that I knew about. Fried bologna sandwich with tomato on it. They forgot to put some sugar in this tea. Ow! I just bit my tongue. But to tell you the truth, this tastes like a tomato sandwich. <laughs> I can't even taste the bologna and I'm kind of glad. <laughs> because I don't remember liking bologna sandwiches. I just remember if I had some potato chips nearby, life was so much better. That was my bell ringing telling me that it's time to shut down this video. I thought surely I'd be finished with this sandwich by the time that bell rang. Want another bite? Come get you another bite. Fried bologna sandwiches. Memory from childhood. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have some of those coconut cookies with the lines in it, very textured cookies. Those are the ones that would go very nicely with the pressed ham sandwiches. And this would all come from the store. Two short neighborhood blocks down. You could walk barefoot all the way down there. 
and peace, well, sometimes peace, sometimes the neighborhood knuckleheads would act the fool, but didn't stop us from kicking it around the block and stuff. Still had to get that playing going on. But again, I'll tell you some more stuff in the description box. Only so much can be said during the duration of a bologna sandwich. Paparazzi finds. Don't forget to visit the channel and see what's new on Paparazzi. Thank you for watching.